Today we'll take a quick look at Canoe, the EV company. Canoe's EVs have been selected by the US Army for analysis and demonstration purposes. The EV maker Canoe announced on Thursday that it's been selected by the US Army to apply an electric vehicle for analysis and demonstration supporting the US military focus to incorporate scalable and adaptable capabilities in a operational and garrison environment. Now, Canoe is an American company that's based in the heartland, and it's been honored to be selected by the US Army. Now, Canoe had this to say, as an American company based in the heartland, it's an honor to be selected by the US Army, said Tony Aquila. That is Canoe Investor Chairman and CEO. He also said, this is another opportunity to prove our priorities technology, which is customizable and adaptable for multiple use cases and special environments. Now, the announcement followed a previous selection by NASA for a new crew transportation vehicle to deliver astronauts to Artemis launch site. This would be for the lunar mission to establish the first long-term presence on the moon. Earlier this week, Canoe actually announced that they'd made a deal with Walmart, that Walmart will purchase up to 4,500 EVs from Canoe, and this will begin with the lifestyle vehicle, the LDV. Now, there's an additional option for Walmart to purchase up to 10,000 units from Canoe. The EV maker also confirmed the anticipation of starting production on the lifestyle delivery vehicle beginning in Q4 this year. Now, this is where it gets interesting. The lifestyle vehicle is expected to begin hitting the road as soon as next year, and the company plans to kick off advanced deliveries to refine and finalize vehicle configuration in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroprolix in the coming weeks. So that's our update on Canoe. Now, so far, obviously, the stock price is doing extremely well. The real question is, can it hold this price? The real question is, can Canoe get beyond $5 and can it stay there? Because there's been a lot of news with Kalu recently. A lot of announcements, and these are big announcements. These are huge partnerships. And these partnerships, they could continue throughout the years to be quite beneficial for Canoe. For an example, Walmart could be starting out with just around 4,500 vehicles. But if that deal goes well, they'll order 10,000. And if the relationship continues to go well and the vehicles are up to standards to what Walmart expects, well, I see no reason why they wouldn't continue to work with Canoe for decades to come and order more vehicles as time continues. Now, yesterday, Canoe actually closed on $4.61. Today's Friday, so it's going to be quite interesting to see where they can close. Me personally, I'm looking at the $5 mark for Canoe. Perhaps not this week, perhaps not today on Friday, but perhaps next week on Friday, we can expect Canoe to break out of the $5 mark. From there on, Canoe will be looking to go towards $6, which would be quite ambitious. But once again, with all this positive news coming out of Canoe, not to mention the, the short sellers are not quite happy right now, so they're, they're being overly careful. But the market cap is back up to $1.2 billion, which is really good. The only thing that's against Canoe is obviously that they're not delivering right now. But reasonably, if Canoe was delivering right now, then their price market cap would be more than reasonable. So these are my price targets. I'm looking towards Canoe going to at least $5 next week. And then from that, we can try to understand if Canoe has a chance of going to $6 anytime soon. But the market is looking good now for Canoe. There's plenty of volume and there's a lot of hype surrounding Canoe. So that's really good for the share price. It's good for the company as well. But as long as they get production started by Q4 this year, then I see no reason why they can't hold the 1 billion market cap. At least holding 1 billion will give them some validation. But that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more and I'll see you in the next one.